Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So my wife is is got some artwork in the house, like like this piece here that she's requested some frames for. Now, I know I've done frames in the past, um, but these are going to be a little bit different in that they're going to be essentially a floating frame. So I don't know if I have enough material here to do as many as she wants, but I'm at least going to walk you through the process. Should be a fairly short video, um, but I thought I'd at least show it to you. What I've got in front of me is some babinga and some wingi, and I'm gonna go ahead and break this stuff down off camera into rough sizes, and then I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, I got all the stock milled up. I'm pretty happy with the sizes and flatness and, and all that good stuff. So next up, what we're gonna do is we're going to notch the babinga, which is gonna be the actual side frame. And so this material will sit in that notch and become the back. So you want a dark wood in the back so it actually looks like it's floating. But the picture will actually sit right on this and it'll get a half inch gap all the way around and will secure right to this. So for right now I got the dado stack set up. So I'm gonna go over there and we'll get this stuff notched out. Okay, so like I said, I've run a test piece and the groove is really good. So now I'm gonna do is, is notch this babenga out to take that wangi and then we'll get it glued up. Okay, so next up we're just going to get these glued up. Okay, and there they are. We'll let them uh, cure up for a couple hours and we'll come back and get those clamps off and start turning those into floating picture frames. Okay, so it's actually been a couple of days. I had the breaker go out in the switch on my table saw. So I had to get a new part in and we're reset up and I'm gonna go ahead and cut these miters. Okay, so there's just a little quick reality check before I send it to glue up and everything appears to be fitting really nice. So uh, glue up will be next. Okay, and there it all is. Got a little bit of squeeze out here I got to deal with, but that's pretty, pretty minor stuff. Just make sure everything is lined up right. And we'll just let that cure for a couple hours. And we'll get on to finishing this thing up. Okay, so I actually let this sit in the clamps overnight. I've marked off roughly halfway in between each one. I'm going to go ahead and drill the pilot hole now. And all these are going to be a little bit oversized. I don't think there's going to be much wood movement. Um, but I'll just hedge my bets and give it just a little extra size. And now on the back side of each one, I'm going to drop just a little countersink just to hide those screw heads. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a coat of General Finishes Armor Seal. Again, dark woods, it just makes the grain pop and just really looks sharp. So that's what I'm going to hit it with. And then we'll come back and we'll put some waterborne finish on it later after this cures. Now for the record, I normally wear gloves for this, but I am currently out, so I will just wash my hands as soon as I'm done. Okay, so I cut myself some small half inch blocks and I've got them wedged in here. They wedge in there pretty tight. So all I'm going to do is turn this over now and get those holes pilot drilled and get some screws put in them.
Okay, so the last thing I need to do is go ahead and locate for some hardware. And I've come down about six inches and measured center. Um, not that that's really critical with this hanging. This is just going to be a wire hanger. I'm going to go ahead and pilot drill. So typically for a heavier frame like this, I like to go with a heavier gauge wire and typically I shrink wrap these in the end, um, but I didn't have any shrink wrap big enough for this. So I'll have to either come back and do it later or I just don't see these being moved very much. I don't know that it'll really matter in my case. So I'll just make sure I got good secure connections. And we get her good to go. And then they are all finished up. Like I said, I did two of these. This is a project which really lends itself well to batching stuff out. So provided, you know, my canvases were the same size. They were just turned a different direction. So it was real easy. Um, the one on the right is Cherry and Wingy, and the one on the left is Babenga and Wingy. Um, frankly, I like the Babenga one better, so I may be redoing the one on the right. We'll just see what the wife wants. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys got something out of it. And uh, I look forward to the next project. Until then, take care. Mm -hmm.